is such a special thing, you know, and people love music so much, it runs so deep for them. I think that the impact of music has been greater than it's ever been. When an artist is drawing something, they're listening to some music, or when a chef is cooking something, he's listening to some music. Because I do think music is healing, and I do think that it's exciting, and also it brings people together. And there's too much division going on in the world right now. I never really dug on video games, and I was just dug on good, loud rock and roll, or whatever is coming through the amplifier. Certain recordings, when you just go back and hear the just a certain tone on a bend or whatever, and you're like, that's the thing. That's the thing everyone's after. And, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's, that's why we do it every night. The beautiful thing about music and the legacy of, of this music is we don't get to live forever, but the music does. Music is a physical experience. Music will always be around. Guitar will always be around. It's been around for thousands of years. It's in the Bible. There's a scripture that says, praise the Lord with the six string instrument. That legacy and what people have done before us is not to be taken lightly. Um, and it's, it's respected and appreciated because we wouldn't be able to do what we're doing if it weren't for them. So here we are, Crossroads 2019. I grew up listening to Eric Clapton and Bonnie Raitt and even Robert Cray and Jimmy Vaughn. And then I also get to see Derek Trucks and Susan Tedeschi and Gary Clark Jr., who I've worked with over the years. And we're all very close and family-like. That's a beautiful thing and just like coming home. We just get to see friends that we don't see all that often. It's, it's very much a, a reunion. Feels like home here. This is my first time. I mean, we've wanted to come a bunch, but we were always on tour, so I knew that eventually. And then we got the word out, and Eric said this would be a good year for me to come. I've been lucky enough to be at every crossroads, I think, and every one of them is unbelievable because you get to see your heroes, and then you get to meet new people, too. So every time I played his crossroads, man, I had the fun of my life. When he called and said, hey, I'm having a guitar festival, he said, these simple words, I'm only inviting guitar players I like. And I said, are you calling? Do you want me to give you some numbers? <laughs> he said, no, I like you. You know, I actually get nervous just being around him, you know? So I'm like a little schoolgirl, but I love them. I, I love everybody here. I mean, Vince Gill and Doyle Bramhall, and you know, the list goes on and on. Where are you going? I'm back. Can I get in? Yeah. Are you the bouncer? Oh, I'm down now. Am I? Well done. <laughs> oh, thank you, it's, so, it's always funny watching you and not me even, you know, on stage. Yeah, I can think you are. <laughs> I think there's a very real chance that tonight you're gonna like this guy more than either Eric or this guy or the two of them like me. Um, and, you know, also a homecoming for me because I'm from Dallas and, um, you know, it's sort of beautiful that the first Crossroads was done in Dallas and now, 15 years later, we're, uh, we're doing it again here in Dallas, which, which feels like home.